let's see. Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and I got a short video on LinoCut safety. Before we get started, I'd like to show you the gouge tool that we're gonna use. You just need to loosen the back end and it has like a little compartment with these little blades. I'm gonna keep those off to the side. Um, and what you need to do is to install the blade into the piece that's right here at the top. So when you, when you try to do this, you wanna go lefty loosey, righty tighty. So look down directly at it. And then if you look above in that direction, if you go towards the left, then it loosens it. So there are two little pieces inside. If you unscrew the cap too far, then the two pieces will fall out, but it's okay. You could just put them back together in the same fashion, drop them into the barrel, and then you could tighten it down. Okay, so next, what you need to do is take one of these blades, and there's two sides. There's like a rounded side right here, and then there's like a sharp side. Um, if you have a V blade, you can see it has like a shiny glistening par portion to it. Anyways, what you gotta do is to take this round curved dull edge and to put it in between those two pieces and then you tighten down the barrel. And as you tighten it down, and if you're looking directly down in it, now you're gonna go righty tighty. So above, right, tight. Make sure that this is seated properly. You don't want it all the way out here, but dropped down and then you should be good to go. Um, nice and snug. Um, you don't need to use a Gorilla Grip and it will safely keep your stuff um, and keep your blade in place. Okay, the next thing you should use is one of, these, one of these plates. This is an inking plate, but it also does a good job of knocking up against the edge of the table. And then what you could do is to put your piece of linoleum there. And what it does is it helps as you try to do your cut because you don't really have to worry about holding the other end what you could do is just focus on getting the cut that you want okay try to get comfortable with holding this blade into your hand depending on the size of your hand you may or may not be able to clutch the whole thing um, it feels comfortable to have this rounded edge like right here in my palm as i try to as i try to hold on to the blade i also use my other hand right here with my thumb to help push the blade forward. It helps stabilize it, okay? You can draw directly onto your linoleum block, or you could do some transfer paper and get some pencil line onto it. It doesn't really matter. What I'm gonna do is to cut away these yellow parts and I'm gonna leave the black part so when I stamp it, it will look like that. So notice that this is flat against the surface. I've got my fingers out of the way. I'm clutching this properly. I'm gonna make a nice shallow cut in a direction that's away from my body. And you're gonna see the, the linoleum's gonna like peel off. And then I'm gonna flick. And then I've got that area set up and ready to go. Um, just realized something. I should uh, actually know. Just gonna slightly color. So you know the linoleum is yellow. So notice how I'm putting in a, yet a red tone over it. This will give me an indication of what I did and did not cut, no way. So now I need to go for this section right here. I'm gonna try to make that cut to remove this. Flick that upwards. And if I need to, I could just turn the block again and try to make that cut. Really what you gotta do is Focus on frequent cuts, shallow cuts, controlled cuts. If your hand is shaking while you're doing this, you're doing something wrong, you're gonna risk injuring yourself. Make sure you cut away from your body. And make sure you got your design on your piece of linoleum as you, as you continue to work. If you lose your design, you can always go back in and draw over and then you know, for instance, um, I, I uh, put my illustration here on the, on the linoleum. However, what I could do is just go back and I could still carve away from it, even though I didn't put that into my original drawing. Okay. 
And by doing these additional cuts, you're going to diminish the amount of ink that's left on your print, which makes shading. Okay, so all of a sudden, this section that's solid black is not as dark as it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm going to show you another thing that I'm working on right now. So I've got a series for like the Ninja Turtles. So I don't know if you could see it. There's Donatello. There's Michelangelo. Here's Raphael's blades. I'm going to stamp all four of these together. So I'm just going to quickly remove some of the some of the weaponry for Raphael's. Uh, for Raphael's block print right here. Uh, notice I've got my sketch on the linoleum. I didn't actually make it dark black like you didn't you saw in the previous one. Sometimes you don't need to do that. If you are confident and you know what the design is supposed to look like, you can just go at it. You don't even need to draw onto this. You can start carving away and then you could eventually just print and see how you like the artwork and then continue to go back and carve. This linoleum is a really hard material, so you want to have a sharp blade because that will aid to a safer cut and a lower likelihood of injuring yourself. Notice how it just slipped right there. That slip is what you don't want to happen. If, if the blade slips like that, you're probably trying to cut too much material. So again, I hope you're safe. Cut away from your body. Make sure your sketch is on the front, and then you should be good to go. Hey, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.